X-Men 2 was once again directed by Brian Singer, returning from the very successful X-Men as well as the entire cast. And this film follows Wolverine as he learns more about his past. We also learn a lot more about Jean Grey in this movie and what she can do and her abilities as this world is brought closer and closer to the brink of war between humanity and mutants. And Magneto and his cronies have to team up with Professor X and the rest of the X-Men because mutant strong people mutant and proud. I remember going to the theater for this film so incredibly excited. I actually still have both of my movie tickets for this movie because I've been saving my movie tickets since about 2002 when I got really into film. I still have both of my tickets for this film and I remember seeing it thinking, wow, that was actually better than the first one. When the Avengers came out, people went nuts. They were like, wow, look at how this film balanced so many amazing characters, how everyone was fleshed out nicely and how much fun it was. And I'm like, yeah, I agree, but did you see X-Men 1 and 2? They did that really well in the early 2000s. And X-Men 2 did it even better than the first one because we get to see more emotion given to these characters. Like, for instance, Wolverine in particular learns a lot more about his past because we're introduced to William Stryker in this movie, played by Brian Cox, and we get to figure out more about how he became Weapon X initially. This film also finally introduced a theme, like a really good X-Men theme by John Ottman. And it's a lot of fun. For whatever reason, 3 ditched it. And then Days of Future Past rescued it again. So it's like, can we please just have an X-Men theme? And I choose this one. <laughs> this one should stay. I remember the first time I saw this movie, the scene where I went, oh my god. This one is going to be better than the first. Is this amazing moment. <laughs> It's just everything, it's everything, that moment. It's everything. <laughs> but this movie wisely also understands the humor in these mutants and their abilities. Like when Wolverine has a soda and it's warm, so he hands it to Iceman and Iceman cools it off for him. Little things like that are like, my God, that's the kind of stuff you don't think about. It's like, wow, I'd love to see an X-Men film where everyone's cool and badass, but no, I mean... Iceman could cool off a soda pretty nice. But just like the first one, this movie also explores the political implications of humans and mutants and how they don't get along. And in the first one, it was very political. We saw an actual senator trying to pass this registration act. But in this one, we see Iceman come home to his family and we witness him have to explain to his family that he's a mutant. And his mom is like, did you ever try not being a mutant? It's like, no, it's not really how it works, hon. Sorry. And it's painful to watch because you can attribute that to all different types of discrimination in real life of really anything that people aren't sure of, that people are afraid of, or that they don't quite understand. And X-Men, and X-Men 2 in particular, explore that beautifully, especially with William Stryker in this film, because not only do we learn about his involvement with Weapon X, as I already said, but we witness him using his own flesh and blood to manipulate Professor X, his son, a mutant. And the sequences where he's manipulating Professor X's mind are really great. In particular, the scene where Xavier thinks he's walking and he's crying. And then he quickly turns around and goes, Jason, stop it! And you realize, holy shit, he's in his mind right now. That scene is awesome. Let's talk about Nightcrawler in this movie. I really like him. I think it's a good portrayal of the character. He has an incredibly badass opening scene that's amazing and still actually holds up really well because I rewatched this film last night. All the effects in this movie are still really strong. He didn't annoy me. For some people, he was sort of a Jar Jar Binks presence, but I don't know. It didn't really get under my skin. I thought it was a really good portrayal of that character. Speaking of ass-kicking blue people, the sequence where Mystique takes on Stryker's guards and then gives him the finger, so great. And this is a thing that I really like about X-Men 2. It takes characters that in the first film, you were like, ooh, that's a bad guy. You know, you're a bad villainous character. I don't like you because you're bad. Sometimes these villainous characters can join in with the good guys because they both have the same goals. And that makes this film a lot more mature than your average superhero beat em up movie. And as we get to the big finale, Wolverine vs. Deathstrike was my favorite X-Men fight scene for quite some time until Wolverine vs. Shingen in The Wolverine, which is now currently my favorite X-Men fight scene. But Deathstrike vs. Wolverine... I mean, this shit is so fucking badass. It's filmed and directed with an absurd amount of energy. Every shot feels vibrant. Everything is moving extremely fast. There's no easy shots in this scene. It's all done with so much vibrance and energy. Now there's two specific words in film, and if they're said in the right order and in just the right way, 
It's perfect. And those two words are, holy shit. Holy shit. I won't get too into the finale just in case you've never seen this movie, but what they did with X-Men 2 was unprecedented at its time because the first one was really good and a lot of people really liked it. I actually love the first X-Men and yes, I do think X2 is slightly above. I'm gonna give it the same grade though of an A. These first two X-Men movies I think are fantastic and as of right now, X2 is still my favorite X-Men movie. I like it just a hair more than Days of Future Past, which is also amazing. Guys, look forward to my review of X-Men The Last Stand coming very soon. And after that, a collaboration review with John Flickinger, the flick pick for Origins Wolverine. Can't wait to talk about that one. Ugh. Guys, you are the best. Thank you so much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.